The BBC is bringing live TV and digital coverage of the remainder of the 2023-24 NBA season to UK audiences. The new deal will see games broadcast live on the BBC including on BBC One, BBC Three, and BBC iPlayer. Five games from the regular season are initially confirmed, with an additional four playoffs and finals games from April to June, keeping basketball fans engaged in all the action. Coverage started with an Eastern Conference clash on February 23 on BBC One, as the Cleveland Cavaliers faced off against the Philadelphia 76ers live from the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Alongside live games, the BBC Sport website and app will host highlights from across the season. In the course of informing you about the upcoming NAB Show 2024, we continue presenting announcements from various exhibitors. S News Newsroom Solutions will be exhibiting at the NAB Show 2024, showcasing its latest offerings designed to empower newsrooms worldwide. The company's solutions are tailored for flexibility, seamlessly adapting to users' evolving needs. Visitors are empowered to use the code NS5762 for free registration to the show and then discover at booth SL6132 how S News can assist in navigating the news cycle with confidence. One more announcement related to the NAB Show 2024, Hitomi Broadcast, located in Lower South Hall, will be demonstrating live how simple it is to solve latency and lip-sync challenges with Hitomi's proven solution. Hitomi's Matchbox Glass app allows a camera assistant to simply hold an iPhone in front of the camera lens, and the audio and video test patterns pass through the complete chain to be measured and aligned at the final control point. The whole process takes seconds. Hitomi's booth number is SL5080, part of the UK pavilion in the Lower South Hall. Telestream announced the release of Diva 9, a cutting-edge middleware system designed to transform how media companies manage, access, and archive video data. Diva 9 introduces critical enhancements to bolster the accessibility, reliability, and efficiency of digital video archives. This iteration simplifies archiving with smart media storage policies, advanced Elasticsearch functions, and comprehensive cloud integration, ensuring secure, scalable, and adaptable solutions. Diva 9 stands as a critical resource for media entities dedicated to achieving superior preservation and access to video data for the long haul. Broadpeak has announced that it has joined forces with Microsoft Azure and Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier to elevate video streaming experiences on mobile devices. Broadpeak's BKS450 high-performance video streaming software is enhanced with quality on-demand network APIs capabilities to improve the stability of video streaming for mobile users. Azure Programmable Connectivity Solution and Deutsche Telekom's Network API support are used to process and enforce the QOD requests. The three parties successfully tested the solution on the Telekom Edge Cloud platform in Berlin. SMPTE has joined forces with the IMF User Group, which was launched in 2016 under the auspices of the Hollywood Professional Association. IMF is a family of SMPTE standards, SMPTE ST2067, that simplifies the storage of all the audiovisual content needed to create different versions for distribution to multiple territories and platforms in one package. IMF played a critical role in the transition from tape-based to file-based workflows in television and streaming. It is now the preferred UHD media delivery format for multiple content providers. Next Edition has renewed a five-year contract with Danish broadcaster TV2 Nord. TV2 divides into regions for its flagship news program at 19.30 each evening, with TV2 Nord serving the people of North Jutland. Thanks to the powerful yet intuitive functionality in the Next Edition production platform, a team of journalists, editors and producers deliver each day a comprehensive and engaging program. The production platform is designed for an online-first approach, pushing content to the website, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X as well as supporting the fully automated live broadcasts from two studios and a round-clock channel called Salto. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.